Hey traders, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to show you the utility of ternary operator in PineScript because this operator is very helpful and it lets us code indicators really fast whenever we want to use the if conditions. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to program this RSI based oscillator, which tells us about the overbought oversold conditions it's a little different than the conventional rsi and whenever the market is uh, overbought it will show us this red color and whenever it is oversold it will show us this green color and whenever the market is neutral it would just plot no color on the chart and whenever the market is in highs or lows then it would show us these yellow and gray colors so here you can see right now you won't be able to make sense of this indicator but once we start going through the code it will all make sense so without any further ado let's get started now let me just go ahead and remove this indicator i'm just copy the code because i'm just gonna explain this code step by step so i'm just copy the code and then remove this indicator from the chart and now let's go ahead and get started with programming this indicator so in the first line we are naming our indicator and we are setting the overlay to be false because we want it to plot in a different window and all the calculations in our oscillator are going to be based on the R rsi so we are calculating ta dot rsi with a period of 14. now these are basic calculations the real fun part begins when we go ahead and use the ternary operator so here you can see that we are making get assigning this variable this oscillator variable the one two zero one two or negative one and negative two values using the ternary operator so if i just go towards the settings and show you the operator the ternary operator logic then here you can see the ternary operator works first we have to give it an expression and if that expression is true then we want to assign that variable this value and if this is false then we want to give it this value so the syntax to use this is to put a question mark after the first impression expression that we want to evaluate and then give the value if that condition is true or that expression is true and after the semicolon if that expression is false we want to give the second value in case what we want to assign if the expression is false so here you can see that we have calculated the rsi and here we're saying if rsi is above 80 then give this oscillator a value of 2 if not then this is a case of using the nested ternary operator so if this is false if this condition is false if the rsi is not above 80 then if it's above 60 because if it's true then 2 would be assigned and here we have to give if it's false and if it's false if this is false then if rsi is above 60 then assign it a value of 1 and if this is false then check this condition if rsi is above 40 give it a value of 0 if rsi is above 20 give it a value of 1 and at the end if all these conditions are false then give oscillator a value of negative 2. so this is the example of using the ternary operator nested in nested conditions there is a simpler example as well which you can use for example here we can let me just paste this line of code so here you can see bar color and we can change the bar color if close is greater than open or that is if the candle is bullish change the bar color to blue if this condition is false then change the bar color to red so this is a simpler case of using the ternary operator the main syntax again is giving the first impression if this uh, this first expression if this evaluates to true then assign this value to this variable if this condition is false then assign this value to this variable and in our case here what we're doing is we are using the nested ternary operator in here 
so now let's go ahead and port the oscillator value onto the chart that is oscillator title or rsa based oscillator and we want to color it blue and line width is set to two and next thing we have to do is we have to plot these levels as horizontal lines in our indicator because we want to check what's going on and that's why we are using the edge line function and we're defining our level that is overbought, high, neutral, low, and oversold. And then after that, again, we want to change the background color of the chart or of the oscillator based on the overbought or oversold conditions. That's why we are using PG color. And again, here we are using the nested ternary operator. So if oscillator value is two, then we want to give it a color of red with the transparency of 90. If oscillator color is green, for example, if this condition is turns out to false, then we want to check the next condition that is oscillator is equal to one, give it a color of orange. If zero, give it a color of green. Then if here, if oscillator is negative one, give it a color of green. And then at the end, we want to change this color a little bit slightly so we can make it a little bit more green and increase the transparency and then i here i have given it a custom color so now let's go ahead and save this and add this to the chart so here you can see that our indicator is giving us these values so at the levels where the market is or the oscillator is one that means in our settings we can see if it is one then the market is making in the highs and if it's red then the market is over bought or you can see if it's red then this level is over bought level and we can also check that from here over bought level at two high at one neutral at zero and we can all customize these settings from here so let me just go ahead and apply the RSI indicator just to make sure our indicator is working okay. And let me also bring the chart. So here you can see, let me just go ahead and only show the RSI and hide everything else. So here you can see where the RSI is above 80 for example here the rsi is above 80 our oscillator is at two and the market is over bought and where the market oscillator is below 10 below 20 then our value of our oscillator is two and the color is green and it says market is oversold so this is just a different way of looking at RSI based on the oscillator that we have built. And in this video, I just wanted to show you the utility of using the ternary operator and nested ternary operator in Finestore. So you can see how powerful this operator is with just two symbols or two characters. We are able to build very complex logics. So I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I would love to answer them. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video.